guys welcome back to my channel so today I am actually going to bring you guys book shopping with me I felt like today was the perfect day to go on a whole book shopping adventure and of course I have to bring you guys along with me hopefully we are able to find some really great books I am gonna be taking a couple bags of books to sell so if we're lucky I won't be spending any money today I will just be exchanging old books for new books all right so off to Barnes & Noble we go this Barnes & Noble location is probably my favorite one to go to because it is two floors. I have a couple books that I am specifically looking for, but other than that, I kind of just want to browse, see what new releases they have, see if anything catches my eye. I really, really love in-person book shopping specifically because I can find books that maybe I would never have noticed before or have never found. One of the books I was specifically looking for was All's Well by Mona Awad, and thankfully they had some copies. They had a couple tables of buy one, get one 50% off books. There were a couple books from these tables that I really wanted. They had The First Sister, one of my favorite sci-fi books ever. They had this book called The Bone Keeper, which sounds really interesting. I might possibly go back and get it. The synopsis of that just really intrigued me. You guys will have to let me know if any of y'all have read that. This book, When the Reckoning Comes, I have heard it's really great. It is a horror book that I've just been seeing a lot of buzz for. They had a lot of really great table displays. I always find it interesting to see what books they have on display. Um, and sometimes they have like really fun displays that you can tell the booksellers put a lot of time and thought into. I was really tempted to get this new copy of Certain Dark Things by Silvia Moreno Garcia. I love this new cover design that they did, but I already have a couple of her books on my physical TBR that I need to read before I'm allowing myself to purchase more of her books. I also really wanted to get this book, Paperbacks a Witch. It is a sapphic witchy romance, but as you can see, this copy is kind of damaged and it was the only one that they had, so I'll just have to find that somewhere else. They also had a Karina Halley book, which I was very excited to see. I think this is one of her first traditionally published books. And then they had this book talk table, which I was very curious to see what was on this table. And it was such a random assortment of books. There was like indie romance and fantasy and young adult, dark academia, literary fiction. It literally was like the most random table that if it didn't have that book talk sign, I would have had no clue what the theme of this whole table was. And here's the other side of the table, more romance books, fantasy books. So I went over to the thriller section. I've been getting into thrillers recently. So this is a section that I normally skip in the bookstore. So I had a lot of fun, like really taking my time in this section and looking around. <laughs> you can tell I was very into actually looking at the books because I'm filming the ground. What are you doing, Riley? Why am I filming the ground for this long? <laughs> yeah, I was clearly very, very focused on looking at the thriller books and I just, I, I lost the ability to film. But there's a uh, Twilight. <laughs> I located the Veronica Speedwell series, which is a series that I love and I really, really want to reread. And thankfully, they actually ended up having the copies that I needed to fulfill my collection. So that worked out really great. And then I had to stop over at the horror section. I really, really wish that I bought this copy of My Heart of the Chainsaw by Stephen Graham Jones. The reason I didn't pick it up was because I hadn't heard very good things about it, but since 
this video, I have seen people loving it and saying it's their favorite book of the year. I'm gonna go back for it. Like what I was saying about cute displays, they had this witch talk end cap with a bunch of witchy and magical books. This was right around Halloween when I went shopping. So they had a couple Halloween themed displays. And then I went over to the fantasy section and I was just kind of looking to see what is new, if there's anything that catches my eye. There's a couple new releases that I've been really excited about. And then some books that I've never heard of, but looked really cool, like this historical vampire fantasy or this sapphic fantasy. And then I found A Wild Credence by Penelope Douglas. <laughs> and one Katie Robert book, was very surprised to see that there. And that is the end of my little shopping trip. This video is being sponsored by Ritual. Even with the perfect diet, it can be hard to get all of the key nutrients that we need on a daily basis, which is why I really love Ritual. Ritual is a multivitamin reimagining health from the ground up. They contain nine high quality nutrients from D3 to omega-3 that are difficult to get enough of every day, even with a healthy diet. They are vegan friendly, non-GMO, gluten-free, allergen-free, and contain no added sugar. Transparency is at the core of everything Ritual does from the way nutrients are source to the environmental impact of materials used to ship thousands of orders. Ritual has searched the globe for the best suppliers from around the world and is transparent about where they source their ingredients. So I take the essential for women's vitamins, but they also offer a men's vitamin 50 plus prenatal, postnatal, and teen. And it is only a dollar a day to have nine high quality nutrients delivered straight to your door. And Ritual is offering you a 10% discount on your first three months if you use the code RileyM. And thank you to Ritual for sponsoring this video. So I am back from my shopping adventure. I actually did really good because I stopped and sold a bag of books before I went to Barnes and Noble and I ended up spending all of the money that I got back from the books that I sold. So it was like a perfect trade-off. And so I picked up some books that I've really, really been wanting, but then I also just kind of browsed and I found some books that sound really, really good. So I'll start with one that I completely went there to buy and that is All's Well by Mona Awad. She is the author of Bunny, which is a book that I read last year and has just imprinted itself on my mind as such a weird book that I loved a lot. And I've been really, really excited for this release, specifically because this follows a main character who deals with chronic pain. And if you don't know, I have a chronic illness and I experience chronic pain. So I'm always interested to see how that's handled in books and from what I've heard about this that is going to be a very big part of it because essentially this is like a revenge fantasy of a woman who has had her chronic pain constantly minimized by people and she wants to inflict that pain on people I think or make people feel what she's feeling to validate it. She is putting on a play of Shakespeare's All's Well that ends well but her mutinous cast really wants to do Macbeth instead and then it says that she meets three strange benefactors who have an eerie knowledge of her past and a tantalizing promise for her future and the invisible doubted pain that's kept her from the spotlight is made known. I'm just really excited for this. I feel like it's gonna be great. Like it, it combines a lot of things I love in books. I love Shakespeare elements in books. So this was a must buy. It was quite expensive. It's $27. I never spend that much on one book. Technically I didn't even spend money on it because I just used the money that I got back from selling books. That's the logic that I'm putting in my head. <laughs> okay, the other two books that I knew for sure that I wanted to get are fourth and fifth books in the Veronica Speedwell series. This is a Victorian murder mystery series that I love. It's one of my all-time favorite series, but I've only read up to book four. I haven't read books five or six yet. I think that's how far we are in the series. And I really wanna do a reread of the whole series. And finally, like, catch up to it. But the series is so much fun. Like I said, they're Victorian murder mysteries following these two scientists who reluctantly team up together to solve the murder of a mutual friend of theirs. That's the first book. And then slowly this partnership kind of like as it starts as rivals where they have a lot of banter and it falls into like a friendship and lovers eventually. It is 
one of the best slow burn romances that I have ever ever read like excruciatingly slow burn but the chemistry between them is so good and also like the mysteries of every book are really good and fun and the setting is great I just love this series a lot I cannot wait to reread it so the next book I got was totally on a whim I saw it on the shelf. I was like, oh, that looks interesting. And that is The Helm of Midnight by Marina Lostetter. So the reason why this sounds really cool is because it's basically a fantasy thriller. I recently talked about how much I love thrillers that combine other genres like sci-fi thrillers, romance thrillers, but I had never seen a fantasy thriller and then i think i happened upon one basically this takes place in a fantasy world where there is a serial killer on the loose and this like task force of people who are brought together to figure out who the serial killer is and stop them but it like takes place in a fantasy world which just sounds really cool to me and i've heard absolutely nothing about this book which makes me even more excited i love when i can find a book that i haven't heard anything about just because that very rarely happens so i'm excited for this. The next book that I got is The Last House of Needless Street by Catriona Ward. I've been hearing a lot about this book recently, specifically that it is unlike anything people have ever read. It's very different. It's very like shocking. People don't know how to talk about it, which are all buzzwords for me. If you say that you don't know how to talk about a book or a book is like unlike anything you've ever read, I'm instantly intrigued. So this is a horror? I don't know if this is horror or thriller. Essentially, this is about like haunted house, a creepy house. That's like all I know about it. I've also heard that it follows multiple points of views and one of the points of views is of a cat which has me interested as well but I don't know I'm just intrigued this was also $27 hold on a minute how much money did I spend this was $27 too ma'am I don't think I listened to the cashier when she said how much my total was <laughs> Okay, the last book that I got is Summer Suns by Lee Mandelo. I wasn't planning on picking this up. However, I saw it and then like I started looking. This was also $27. Why are all these books so expensive? Okay, anyways, moving on. I didn't realize I spent that much money. Like I said, I wasn't planning on picking it up. But then I just like started reading the first page and I couldn't put it down. I kept wanting to read so I was like, ugh. I guess I have to buy it. But I've heard really great things about this. It is a queer, southern, gothic book. It's about two best friends. They do everything together, and then one of them leaves to start a graduate program, and six months later, he commits suicide. And his friend knows that something has, something else has to have been going on, so he starts to investigate like what was going on at this school and uncovers all of these dark secrets about this very cutthroat and backstabbing academic world. And I've been really anticipating this, so I cannot wait to read that. So those are all of the books that I got. I'm honestly so excited to read all of these. Definitely let me know in the comments which of these six books you are most excited about or you want to hear about the most. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along book shopping with me. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!